All right, Lou, this is your chance. Fight for the little guy. Let's talk Kings, shall we? Uh, half game ahead of the Lakers right now. So the whole trying to avoid that nine seed and all the goodness that comes with that, Lou, talk to me about the importance of that <laughs> and why they can do it. I mean, listen, it's it's probably the most important thing of their season so far. When it comes down to trying to win one game to eliminate Steph Curry from playoff contention, you don't want to be the team in the way of that. You don't want to be in a team in the way of a championship caliber group that knows what it takes to win big games like this. And so if I'm the Sacramento Kings, I'm avoiding this at all costs. We have a term in the NBA, do your work early. They have an opportunity to do your work early so you're not in that position. So get it done now so you won't put yourselves against the wall where you have to deal with a Steph Curry and a motivated Golden State Warriors basketball team. So I still like the Kings, but if they're smart, get it done before you put yourselves in this position now. I'm sure that's going to be the message uh, coming from coach going into these last few games. I feel like we asked the same question at the end of last season, Chandler. Um, and I know the injuries for the Kings that you, you can't predict that. It's just a, a bad luck part of the whole thing. But are they missing something, maybe one piece, two pieces, to to for us to take them more seriously each year as a contender? Yeah, they are. And, and they know that. They know as good as Fox and Sabonis are and the stats that they put up this year, that they're still overlooked and they still don't compare to kind of these other duos in the league. They're just too elite. They're too good. And when you do have a guy like Monk and a guy like Kevin Herter and they go out at this point in the season, that's a huge blow to them. Especially as we're talking about the possible sixth man of the year and arguably their best outside shooter that aren't going to be available now in the most important time of the season. So hmm. this is a team that we're always going to overlook. And they've had an up and down year. They had a great run last year. And and still we somehow believe more in the Warriors, right? And the Lakers and these big, you know, the bullies. And, and it's crazy, but the Kings are definitely, they're just missing something. And I love Murray. Um, I think they try and do a move where they get off Harrison Barnes this year and kind of add that real third option to kind of put with Fox and Sabonis. But like Lou said, as much as the Lakers and uh, they don't want to be in this play in the 9-10 spot, the Kings definitely don't want to be in the 9-10 spot. So when you look at the mm -hmm. game tonight, I think this means more to them than it does to Oklahoma City. This game is huge. This is a, a season-saving moment game for them, too, where if they can get this, then they're looking at like a New Orleans or a Lakers. At least they get the two games in the play-in. This is a huge game for the Kings tonight. So I actually, I don't know if they'll win, but if I had to bet, I'm definitely taking Kings plus five and a half because I, I think their, their positioning is more important right now than the Thunders, you know, one through three. Where is this game tonight? It at is Thunder. At, at Thunder. Does that matter? Yeah, yeah, no, it's hard. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little tougher than, <laughs> yeah, a little tougher on the road. Who knows? But I, I, I feel like, oh, I, no, I'm sorry. I still like uh, the Kings in this game. Like you said, highly motivated. OKC could move up in the standings. They can go down. So, like you said, it might get tricky with lineups with them too at this point of the season, trying to go into the postseason um, in one piece. So who knows? But I like the Kings in this one.